What's good guys, it's Combat here at Infinite Rhythm Productions and I'm about to show you guys how and why you should be using New York Compression. Let's get into it. Combat, this is a banger, huh? All right, so I have my session open over here. I'm just gonna play out the track. This is a song by Nanas. They contain, but it's cool though. No? It's so usual to do things for others like it's beautiful. I wanna feel it all. I wanna stand tall. Knowing I was real for New York compression is parallel compression. They are both the same thing. If you guys do not know what that is, it's pretty much where you make an auxiliary track, put a compressor on that thing, and just pump that compressor up as much as really you want and then you control it through the auxiliary fader. And I'll show you right here. So we already have my New York compression right here. Just to show you guys how to make an auxiliary track, we're gonna go over here to track, new. We're gonna make sure we kick stereo, we're an aux input, and we hit create. Now, as you guys can see, I already have my input right here for New York comp, but if I wanted to put an input, I would do like bus 17, 18, that would be perfect. What I then do is I go to the track that I wanna mess with, I click over here, hit bus, and then go to 17, 18. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna option click the fader right here, get it up over here to zero, and then I'm gonna click and option click these to make sure these are at zero, pointing up, make sure in their mono, and then I'm gonna hit pre. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the auxiliary track where you guys see the bus 17, 18, and you guys could also label this here too, New York compression, whatever it is. Like I said, I have mine right here. And then I would make sure that is mono as well. I will then keep this about midway so it doesn't really hurt my ears. And I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna find a compressor to use. Now, what I'm using on my main track right now is I'm using the UAD 2A. I have like a fairly heavy compression on there. And just in case you guys don't have UAD or any wave plugins or anything, we're gonna go to a stock plugin right here. I'm just gonna go to Avid and I'm going to go to Compressor Limiter. The next thing I'm gonna do is go onto this track over here. I'm gonna inactivate my New York compression that I have on there so we're not doing double so you guys can hear an actual effect over here. I'm gonna keep around nine, uh, about like a nine ratio and then I'll make sure I'm gonna play this out. Playing games, but it's all the same. Thinking about it hurts the brain, let it rain on my- I have a makeup gain. It's showing me about negative six. I'm getting that much of gain reduction. So I'm gonna pick it up about 6.5, something around there. Playing games, but it's all the same. Thinking about it hurts the brain. Dope, and now because we have the New York compression in pre right here, we're gonna go over here and adjust to taste playing games but it's all the same yeah thinking about it hurts the brain let it rain on my face like you feel my pain let and pretty much what it's used for and what it's good for is if your vocals just feel a little a little thin if it feels a little just you want more a little oomph to it just bring this up playing games but it's all the same yeah thinking about it hurts the brain let it and it just really helps add thickness to your vocal. It can really help your vocal sit more on top of the mix. All right, awesome. Now that concludes our tutorial on how to do New York compression, otherwise known as parallel compression. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below or hit me up on Instagram, DM me at combat underscore K. And if you guys want free presets and templates, make sure you guys hit the link in the bio, infiniterhythmpresets.com. We have free samples for you for Logic Pro X, Garage, band or pro tools it is a perfect way to make it super simple and easy to clean up your vocals with just a drag and a drop and please if you guys could like comment and subscribe that helps me out a lot so i can continue to help you guys out let's get it